welcome back to my channel if you're new hi i am natalia if you're not new i already said welcome back so i don't know anyway today's story time took place when i was like maybe two years old i don't exactly remember too well and i don't remember the story the story itself because i was like two who remembers when they're two but i my mom has told me a story my whole life so i think i'm qualified to tell you guys the story so takes place in Miami, Florida, where we moved to. My mom was brand new in the United States. My dad, however, he wasn't brand new because he had lived here before and then he had moved he moved here before we moved here. So he moved to Miami like a little bit more than half a year before we moved to like find an apartment, to furnish the apartment, to get everything ready for us to arrive because I was little, you know, like my mom didn't want to like just come to the US and like not have anything prepared to just be like in the middle of nowhere with like a two year old and like a nine uh 11 year old oh no no nine year old sorry she was nine anyway so one day my dad my mom my sister and i we went to kmart and i don't know we were just at kmart my mom was i don't know what she, i don't know to be honest my mom didn't like the buildings and stuff in columbia are so are different than the buildings and the architecture here so my mom didn't really know what a supermarket looked like because in Colombia they're just like on the street you can see like the fruit and on display and things like that or like they have a specific name so she knows it's a supermarket you know like here she didn't really know a supermarket like she didn't know Publix meant supermarket or Publix you guys know or like Walmart like she didn't know that was like supermarket slash other stuff so when people would tell my mom like oh there's a supermarket across the street and she like didn't know where the supermarket was or they'd be like oh there's a mall like over here and she like didn't like she would see a building but like she wouldn't know that's the mall you know like it, it's kind of like confusing and it's not, it was in the time period where people had like gps and they could just gps like a supermarket or whatever you, you can like internet on your phone 18 years ago like that shit didn't exist you know so we went to kmart and i'm sure my mom was probably grocery shopping because that's where we did our groceries when we first got to the u.s i don't know my mom's looking through something and out of nowhere she turns around and she's like where's natalia so she asked my sister Where's Natalia? She doesn't know. She has my dad. Where's Natalia? He doesn't know. So she's like calling my name like Natalia, 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 Natalia. And you know, Natalia is nowhere to be found, right? So they start panicking, of course. So my mom's looking, she's going up and down the aisle. She's looking everywhere. She can't find me. And keep in mind that Kmart's a big store. So little kids can get lost easily. People can abduct kids really easily. Like it's, I feel like, it's really easy to just take a little kid little kids are also really gullible like some grown adult can be like oh your mom sent me to get you or she's looking for you come with me and then the kid's like oh yeah my mom like yeah and then like get abducted you know i don't know people are crazy so my dad knows english because he had previously lived in the united states so he goes to the appropriate people i guess i don't know um the camera people and he's like my daughter my daughter we can't find her anywhere oh my god my daughter you know like hysterical they're like shut the door close the doors no one in no one out <laughs> kind of thing so then they do it exactly as he said they close the freaking camera we shut down camera i shut down camera natalia i shut down camera and no one in no one out and then my mom tells the people to, to call my name through the intercom they're like natalia and like natalia's not gonna be found still and then time goes on whenever my mom's crying she thinks that she's lost me forever she thinks that she's never gonna see me ever again like she's been imagining the worst and then natalia i love how i'm talking about myself in third person i just come out from a little clothing rack you know circular clothing racks i just walk out and i'm like mommy you couldn't find me and she's like where were you what were you doing and i was like we we're playing hide and go seek you couldn't find me why couldn't you find me and then she was just like i don't know if she was furious or like happy she was probably like relieved slash mad because i wasn't like mom let's play hide and seek like i just hid and expected her to know that i was playing hide and seek can you imagine like i like just let me know in the comments below how you would react like how would you feel if your kid did that to you like i feel like if well i don't have kids but if i had a kid if my kid ever did that i'd just be like for I, like my initial thought would be like so happy to see them you know they like, just just happy that they're alive happy that they're okay that no one's like taking them away or whatever but then i would be pissed i'd be like why did you do that you can't leave my side like who told you we're playing hide and seek don't do this shit in public i'd be pissed like that's embarrassing too because you, she freaking made Kmart close down. Like, I was a terrible little kid. 
why did I do that? What what did I get into my mind thinking that like this was okay? I don't know. I'm sure it was fun. Like I'm sure in my little two-year-old mind, I'm thinking, haha, I chose such a great hiding spot that no, that she couldn't find me. Like it was like a perfect hiding spot. She could have left the store for all I knew, and like. That's it, if she left and she wasn't persistent enough, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be with my mother. I'd be with like random people. Or is she my not is she not my mother? Hmm. Let's call mom Mama Mama Natalia. <laughs> Hola mami. Hola. ¿Te acuerdas de la vez que, que me escondí en Kmart y hicieron cerrar la tienda? Sí. ¿Cómo reaccionaste? O sea, ¿qué pasó? O sea, cuéntame la historia. Estábamos Sara, Natalia, su papá y yo. Estábamos mirando las góndolas de ropa y entonces este, se escondió que para que jugáramos. ¿Y tú, y sabías, ¿tú sabías que estábamos jugando? No, 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 pero te contaste después. Y entonces yo le dije, Yerga, la niña, ¿cómo que la niña? Si usted la tiene, yo no, yo no la tengo. Sara, la niña. No, mami, usted estaba con la niña. Y entonces la, empezamos su papá y yo y salir a buscar a la y, y llamando a la Natalia, la Natalia se fue a ningún lado. Entonces Edgar fue y habló con el manager de la tienda, hizo cerrar las puertas, que se había perdido la niña, que tenía dos años y que no la encontrábamos. Entonces cerraron las puertas y fueron a virar los baños y empezamos a buscar y cuando ya vio usted tanta bulla porque empezaron a hablar por... ¿En altavoz? Altavoz. Usted salió, mami, mami, aquí estoy, aquí estoy, mami, 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 estamos jugando escondido, no me encontraste. Ajá. Aquí estoy, no te preocupes, mami, aquí estoy. Y salió dentro de una góndola y la verdad se dijo, Dios mío, no me vuelvo a hacer esa palabra con usted. Y entonces usted se puso a llorar, entonces papá la cargó y yo la cargó y nos fuimos. ¿No te dio mucha pena en la tienda que hicieron cerrar la tienda y yo escondida? No. No, porque mamá reacciona igual. ¿Y tú qué pensabas que no me ibas a volver a ver? Yo, ay, no, esto es horrible porque fue una vida me la robaron. Hasta aquí llegó, yo nunca me la voy a volver a ver. Es esto. Tengo un susto más grande que he pasado yo en mi vida con ustedes. Bueno, mami, solo quería escuchar la historia otra vez para acordarme. Ok, mamita. Bye, love you. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video featuring my mother. I will see you guys in the next video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!